The Redevelopment Agency meeting of March 18, 2009 is called to order. The meeting has been properly noticed and posted in compliance with the open meeting law. These proceedings are being presented live on KCLV Cable Channel 2 and are closed captioned for our hearing impaired viewers. The Redevelopment Agency meeting, as well as all other KCLV programming, can be viewed on the city's website at www.kclv.tv. The proceedings will be rebroadcast on KCLV Channel 2 and the, Wednesday, and the web the Wednesday of the meeting at 8 p.m. and also on Friday at 4 a.m., Saturday at 7 p.m., Sunday at 7 a.m., and the following Monday at 1 p.m. And, of course, the prior announcement about the sprinkler system is still in effect. And if, if, if uh, the alarm should activate, please uh, uh, leave the building and come back when our marshals tell you that it's safe. Okay. Item number three is RA5-2009. Discussion and possible action regarding a resolution authorizing the issuance of City of Las Vegas Redevelopment Agency tax increment revenue bonds and a single placement and the execution and delivery of documents relating thereto to finance certain capital improvement projects in connection with redevelopment projects in Wards 1, 3, and 5. Mr. Vincent. Uh, Mayor, we're going to strike item 3 and move to item 4, I believe. Okay, striking item 3. I need a motion to that effect then. I move to strike item 3, please. All right, thank you. Let's vote on that, please. Opposed? Motion carries. Item 4 is RA 6, 2009, discussion and possible action regarding a resolution authorizing the issuance of City of Las <coughs> Vegas Redevelopment Agency tax increment revenue bonds on a negotiated sales basis and the execution and delivery of documents relating thereto to, certain, to finance certain capital improvement projects in connection with redevelopment projects in Words 1, 3, and 5. Mr. Vincent. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Uh, again, for the record, Mark Vincent, uh, Acting Deputy City Manager. The reason why I striked Item 63 is we had a two-pronged approach. We were looking at selling perhaps some uh, of these notes uh, locally with a bank and selling them on, on the market through uh, a bond sale. Um, we didn't get any um, viable offers for the banks, but it turns out that's not necessary because we had a very successful sale this morning. So I'm standing in front of you today as a very happy finance director after six me uh, months of really hard work uh, by many, many people. Uh, we were able to sell um, $85 million worth of redevelopment bonds uh, this morning. We'll be um, closing here shortly. Um, let me give you a little information of, about it. There was um, um, uh, uh, various uh, uh, bonds involved. There were 21 serial bonds on the short end. Uh, we had a couple um, long-term bonds that was about $64 million. We were able to actually place through Stone & Youngberg competitively about um, uh, $67, $68 million. Uh, Stone & Youngberg, who's been working so hard with us uh, over the last few months, was willing um, to, um, to underwrite the remaining 17. Um, <clears throat> the uh, coupon rate averaged 7.72 uh, and change. Uh, true interest costs would be about 7.84. Now, that seems a little high, but when you think about the fact that these are pure revenue bonds, not guaranteed by the general obligation of the city, when you consider all the publicity we've had here recently, all the, the things that we have going on in, in, in the legal process, um, we're extremely pleased to be able to, to successfully sell these. We have really worked hard. I want to thank uh, the Stone and Youngbird, uh, uh, Nevada State Bank Public Finance, and, and Swinside and Stern, uh, Sherman Howard, uh, D. Weiser is here today. Um, we've been working really hard to get these things solved, and we're just really pleased to, to have done that. Mayor Goodman, yeah. if you don't mind. Mark, there's a lot of people watching out there, and I'm not sure if many of those people understand exactly what the sale of a bond does. Could you put it in simple language so that our viewers understand exactly what this all means to the city of Las Vegas? Um, probably the easiest way to put it in, in terms that the, the average person would understand it's not unlike, uh, it's, it's similar but not quite the same as anybody going out and, and trying to get credit to buy a, buy a home, buy a car. I mean, you can even do that online now and get competitive rates. It, it's similar to that except that this is a much more sophisticated process. Um, typically when we do, when we have simple things that we think are simple, we do it on a very much competitive scale, people uh, electronically post their, their bids and we get to examine them and take the, take the best bid. In this case, we have a situation where uh, because of the difficulty, because it was a special kind of a placement being pure revenue, 
we, um, we went to a negotiated process with Stone and Youngberg. They tried to market the bonds for us. They arranged for uh, um, uh, investor meetings. Uh, uh, we've we had two series of those. We had a lot of phone calls, a lot of interaction over the last, say, say three months that they helped us arrange. So it was a real concerted effort to get these placed, um, and to the extent that they are unsuccessful in placing all of them with investors, some retailers, but mostly institutional investors. Um, they step up and, and, and have said they're willing to underwrite the remaining for a, 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 little, a little extra fee in, in terms of the risk, but um, uh, we think it's worthwhile. So that's, it's, a, it's an interesting process. It involves getting bond raters. We have to uh, get ratings for these bonds. Uh, it's an it's a arduous process. I also want to thank uh, us, Office of Business Development and the finance staff for all their efforts. This is, this is a lot of people involved in trying to get this sold. Mayor Goodman? Councilman uh, Barlow. Mark, um, I'm reading through the backup information here, and on page 16 of 57, it states that the bonds shall mature on June 15th of the years below. Mm -hmm. What what years are they referencing? Well, there's a, there, there are some, as I mentioned, there's about $21 million that are serial bonds on the short side, and then we have two term bonds, and I don't remember what the years are, are for those, but the last term bond, which is around $43 million, if my memory serves me right, uh, that, that matures in June 15th of 2030. So what happens is the underwriters try to help us structure the, the series of bonds and the term bonds in such a fashion that over the course of, of, um, over the course of that 21 years, it produces a debt service, an annual principal and interest payment that meets our cash flow projections. Um, in this case, it's fairly flat. Other than uh, other than the first few years, where we still have we're still paying debt service on an existing, outstanding uh, uh, RDA bond that will uh, mature here in about five years, and then that will be paid off. Thank you for that. All right. Any uh, questions or comments? All right. May I have a motion, please? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, I just want to thank Mark and those that he mentioned uh, for doing this for the city of Las Vegas. It'd be much appreciated. I move to follow his recommendations. Okay. Let's vote, please. Yes. Are we able to comment on that even though it was stricken? No, not when it's stricken, no. Questions? No, okay. but you're certainly welcome to speak during citizens' participation. All right. Did we vote, please? Motion carries. Thank you. All right. Uh, this is item number five, uh, citizens' participation. Public comment during this portion of the agenda must be limited to matters within the jurisdiction of the Redevelopment Agency. No subject may be acted upon by the Redevelopment Agency unless that subject is on the agenda and is scheduled for action. If you wish to be heard, uh, please come up, give us your name, and we'll put the three-minute timer on and be happy to hear from you. I'm sorry to do this. No doubt as to my address anymore, Oscar. Uh, I'm here for purpose. You, you said, well, you said you weren't coming back. You made a lot of promises you didn't keep. And why I'm famous in this world, because I tell people one thing and I do something, you can't read me, I don't want you to. So, and by the way, I don't want that uh, proclamation that I said oh, to give me and my wife. You said you was my friend, you never been. Because see, a friend will get up at 3 in the morning. Half the time, when you see me, you turn and go the other way. So I don't want to even hear about that, Oscar. So you, you're, you're really, honestly. And I got a picture of a friend that was in a movie with you. A uh, uh, casino, you know, your buddy. What I'm trying to say, you'd be surprised what I know. And this young president had just got elected, the last one. Y'all need to read this letter that young man sent me. He's probably be the last great person. Three days after the Iowa caucus, that young man contacted me, let me know how important I am. I, I even helped you get elected, and you know it. I even told you you were going to get elected before you even ran at that funeral home. I told you. I said, you would be the next mayor. Guaranteed it. And you're sitting there. And when your time's up in 2011, get on out and go home. And you go too, boy. You don't need to be the next mayor. You need to get off that crap. You're a joke. I let y'all do it one time, putting you back on. Because, boy, if they ever find out some of the things you've done, you wouldn't even get like dog catcher. I might be dead in another year or so, or the next few months, whatever. It doesn't really matter. But, Reese, you're a joke. And the only somebody left uh, during the Jan administration when I first got is you came in after another second term. You've been here long enough. You've always been about 14 years. You need to get on down the road, too. You understand what I'm saying? Now, I'm, I'm going to leave you something great, but I want this red. It's going to be red anyway to the public. This young man has the, the audacity to even admit 
how kind of person that if this man he's now the president of the United States and this one here just left okay don't play with me I don't appreciate it and every time I come now you make me put my name on you other people are going to say I'm, I'm a citizen of Las Vegas what else man I don't like it. I am an open book I'm not afraid of anything or anybody you know, Oscar I'm tired of you playing with me I don't appreciate it I treat you with respect and dignity and you owe me the same, but you lied to me the night you got elected when that back room of your office with your wife. You said I was your friend. Man, I ain't your friend. Because I'm going to give you a few more days to prove it. By the way, I don't need to come to your office because Jan had me up there three times. I know where it's located. And I know a lot about you, Oscar. By the way, I'm on with the mob a little bit too. Don't worry about it. I'm, I, I have never told y'all nothing that isn't true. I'm one of the most famous human beings on the planet. But I don't do it daily. I just walk down the street like an ordinary person all the time. I hide from the press. I don't need, right now, I don't need to be on your camera. Counsel it if you can. But I'm tired of what you did, Oscar. And I mean it. My three minutes is up. And all this is for you. I brought this down here for you. And I'll come back if I feel like it. I don't need your permission. Next, please. Will you please take this, please? I think all we have is questions. You have to uh, state Yes, uh, I'm Juanita speaking on behalf of a Charleston Neighborhood Preservation uh, Board representing. Um, on uh, This is referring to RA5, correct? Say it again, please. RA5. Item number RA5. Okay, yes. Yeah, yes, this is public comment on that? Okay, all right, thank you. Just wanted to make sure I was in the right spot. Um, uh, on, on, on page 41, um, at the bottom bottom section there, 1103, uh, our questions are, are pertaining there. Um, and they're, they're probably worded incorrectly, but uh, we want to know who or what uh, is legally um, the registered owners of the bonds and if that still applies after what happened, the sale evidently occurred differently. What page are you referring to? Um, page 41 of the indenture trust of trust. Oh, okay. The bottom section there. What are, what are, you, what are you referring to? We're having difficulty in finding what you're referring to. What's the number of the item? The number of the item is, it's section 11.03. Uh, of what, though? She's looking at the uh, indenture of trust agreement under the RDA uh, On item page number 41. five, page 41. What number five is the one we struck? Okay, that's yes, it is. I, I don't know the yes, answer. it is. Item number five. Uh, are you able to answer that question? This is on the stricken item. Yes, no, and that was my question. Is that is that of any of any uh any importance well, we're not, now we're that not it has been no, struck it, it is not and it has been sold in a different manner than what is portrayed here yeah the, the first uh, again mark vincent the first item was an attempt to uh market the bonds with a local bank yes and we put out a request for a uh, request for a uh, request for interest got nothing that we could use so that item stricken instead what we did is we marketed the bonds through a, a negotiated sale agreement with the underwriter stone stone and Youngberg. Yes, yes, and I, I did hear your so, testimony. So, so does that mean that there is no a registered owner of bonds then, or is well, Stony the, the bonds? The bonds were purchased through the uh, purchase agreements based upon the sale that we just had this morning. There was multiple, multiple purchasers of the various bonds. I mean, I, I can make that available. It's okay, so then there are right. multiple registered owners. There will be. Uh, okay. Or there, or there will be when everything's signed. Yeah, okay. the prim yeah, the primarily the, you're going to see that they're either retail sellers of bonds or institutional investors of the bonds, uh, or Stone Youngbird itself. That's what you're going to see. They're, they're not, you know, you don't sell those in a. Uh, it's not. They're not really a, marketed for sale to the to the public. They're usually handled through. Okay, but there, but but there's. So you're talking about sale to the public, but a list of them would be available sure. to the public. Sure. Okay. Uh, can you tell us how we would 
You can make a public, public records request or you can call my office. I'd be happy to, to, to give you the list. Okay. And so are those the terms we're even, you know, we don't know what terms to use either. So should we use those terms, registered owners? If you should, of, of those, would that be, you'd be able to know what we were talking about then? Okay. Ms. Juanita, Mayor, just as a point of clarification, you do understand uh, what striking the item represent as far as number number five because... Mark, I don't want her to get confused with the questions that she's asking you. I, I and, and thank you for asking them. However, it's not, we didn't move forward on item number five. We struck it from the agenda, which meaning there's no action taken on number five, Ms. Juanita. Yes, I believe I, believe I understand that. Okay. However, some, uh, beca because it was, just done, it was done in a different manner and under different terms, so, I, so this actually RA5, but some of the terms that I'm using evidently are applicable. And so we have those terms. In, in other words, the term registered owners means something in, in, the, in the new one. That was I understand her question to be not so much about the item, item that was stricken now. She's now asking about the item that you approved. And so we'll respond to her question about the item that we approved. That's the way I understood her question. All right. I, and, and thank you. Thank you. Because... It could be anywhere, right? <laughs> okay. And, 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 the, and the, uh, the, uh, the second one was, who are the parties here to? And is that applicable to the new one also besides five? <laughs> I'm getting a little over my head. I have and that's the last one. Dee Weiser here, if you would like. Dee could, uh, from Sherman and Howard, who's our outside counsel that helps us on a redevelopment clause. But, but are, are we discussing an item that was stricken because it's irrelevant? No, she's moved. Oh, We're moving on. Okay, fine. And your question, once again, is what does here to mean? For the record, uh, D. Weiser with the uh, law firm of Swinside and Stern. Uh, I believe you're looking at the indenture of trust uh, document. And the, yes, sir. And the parties to the indenture of trust are the redevelopment agency and uh, U.S. Bank's corporate trust department, which acts as trustee on behalf of the investors. Thank you. All right. Um, the last one is just a general question, and um, that question is, does this in any way obligate the residents of the city of Las Vegas? Mr. Benson. Uh, n no, these are, these are revenue bonds uh, secured solely by tax increment revenues from uh, existing taxpayers in the redevelopment area. Right. Thank you. Anybody else like to be heard? Three minute timer, please. Good afternoon, Your, Your Honor, uh, City Council. Uh, if we had looked at this agenda for redevelopment about a year ago, it would have been oh, ho hum, rather dry. Uh, this is very, very serious, very big time good news. We're back on the move. What are these bonds? What do they mean? Without them, we have no progress. We have no redevelopment. Uh, I spoke into the cone of silence, uh, which I refer to uh, public comment during the board meeting of the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority, and I noted it's happening now. The turnaround is happening now, and it was audacious, it was arrogant, it was absurd. I would like everyone present to note for the record that the Dow Jones has not ceased from increasing from the day I spoke those words. I do not take the credit. I give the credit to the great forbearance and mercy of the living God only and due to all of our performance. Thank you so much and have a great day. Thank you. Would anyone else like to be heard at this time? Hi, my name is Ivo Plichko. And this here is a short notice on the issue of the problem of the homelessness. I personally suggest and propose appoint somebody to visit the city of Ljubljana in the Republic of Slovenia and you will find out that what they have done can resolve your problem here in your city. Start procedure that this can happen. Thank you. Anybody else like to be heard? All right, then uh, we'll go on to the next item. Item number six, uh, 
Any member of the redevelopment agency wishes to speak at this time? Okay. All right. Seeing none, then what I'd like to ask uh, Ms. Bridges, I'm wondering whether we could take our noon break now, then come back and conclude our council meeting, which will be very brief, and then go into the closed executive session. Yes, sir. We changed the agenda to give oh. you that latitude. I see. Okay. Well, apparently it's not the best idea, according to my mayor pro tem. Oh. What we'll do is this. Uh, why don't we take a, a half an hour uh, break and then meet for our closed uh, session at, um, let's say, 1 o'clock, and then we'll begin the council meeting about uh, 1.30. Uh, but you think a half an hour, uh, Ms. Fretwell, is good uh, today? I'm not, I'm not sure it'll actually go that long, okay. Mayor. Maybe 15, 20 minutes at the well, most. Well, let's, let's be on the safe side and say we'll be back here um, at uh, 1.30. We're we're, no, we're leaving now. We're going to get, get the bite to eat. Then we're going to have our closed door session. Yeah. And then we're coming back at 1.30 for the oh. council meeting. All right, that's, yes. Okay, I need you to adjourn okay. the redevelopment. All right, at this time, I'd like to adjourn the redevelopment. Thank you. Let us switch over to council and take the motion to go into closed session, and you'll be fine. And let us switch over to uh, council, uh, take the motion, and yes. we'll go into closed session. That'll be fine. <laughs>